365 days of horsemanship, day 164. So quite a good day today. Um, I would say the last two weeks have been challenging for me personally. Um, I think physically I've been, I've had a lot on, I've had a lot of work to do. Um, I've had exams and assignments and emotionally as well. I think, you know, part of kind of growing up for me and definitely a part of my journey at the moment has been around and I'm sure you know anyone else any of my other listeners viewers who experience the menstrual the menstrual cycle um can probably relate um definitely your emotions can really fluctuate or my emotions can really fluctuate um and my energy levels can really fluctuate at different points in the month and definitely I'm starting to notice patterns now in terms of how much of my reserves I have available to me to deal with um, different situations. And the last few days, um, I would say the last week or so, I think particularly dealing with Lawrence and trying to be touching him more and play more at touching distance has been, I think I've had some quite hard lessons um, and I think I've had to take some kind of like hard reality checks. And it's been also quite disheartening to realise and to really have to accept that after so many years together, he doesn't actually intrinsically enjoy me touching him as much as I would really want him to. And that's been really difficult to deal with emotionally. It's been really just disheartening. Um and frustrating and yeah today today um i've actually had a lovely day i've been out all day visiting family celebrating my birthday um which has been amazing but it's also obviously been quite tiring and i've been quite tired anyway generally and i definitely came home and i was like gosh you know i like she's so tired um you know, I have other things I want to do, like, you know, sleep. Um, but it's 365 days of horsemanship. Um, and I'm really glad I came. I'm really glad I came. Um, I've been trying to stretch myself to stay longer with the horses. Um, yesterday I had quite a difficult day with Lawrence and I really felt just, yeah, really disheartened that I, I felt like things were just getting worse the more I was playing at the touching distance. I wasn't being able to make things better long term. Like I was able to like stay in that place or be in a place until he like would flick an eye. But throughout the session, it, it didn't really feel like he came out of that concern um, as long as I was there. And that feeling only really got worse the more days that I played with it. And so that was really hard. Um, and today, I just really felt like I needed a win. I just really needed a win today. I really needed to feel successful. Um, and I decided, um, I came up um, after it was dark. Um, I kind of sat around at home for a bit, like got myself mentally there and prepared. And I came up and um, I just had in my mind that I was just going to play at a distance. I was just going to be in flow at as far away as I could be and still see his head moving in the dark. Because obviously in the dark, it's harder to see. Um, I think it also simplified things for me, though, because I wasn't able to react to all the little things. Um, so that did kind of make it easier for me to, I think, switch off a little bit and not be so... Um, like looking at him so like predatory or obsessed because um because it's dark you know and I do wonder if there's something in that you know it's like when I'm touching him I'm like looking at him so intensely like potentially that's what's making him concerned as well like maybe I just need to chill out you know and wait for him to make those bigger changes um I don't know maybe that's something that I can try that will make things better We'll see. Um, but basically, he was just at the hay. He had quite a lot of times when his head would lift. And so any time his head position would lift up from the hay to like a middle height. Um, and I would just take one step into my next pace of flow. I would say I 
worked for probably about 15 minutes with both horses tonight. Um, so it was about kind of, you know, 10 minutes just doing that really. Um, I would say I was like at a medium distance. Um, yeah. And so and I, it was kind of going well. I wasn't really sure what I was looking for. Um, I was quite emotional tonight. Um, I've been quite emotional this, well, this, I haven't, wouldn't say I've been emotional. I've been kind of actively trying to be emotional, allow myself to feel my feelings, do all that good stuff. Um, so I did some feeling of my feelings, had a little cry, um, about how, um, disheartened I'd felt about everything, allowed myself to feel sad about the fact that things weren't where I wanted them to be. And I didn't feel how I wanted to feel about everything. Um, and about the situation, about our relationship, my relationship with Lawrence um, and the way that he feels about me being so close and the fact that I feel that I don't know what to do about that. Um, and interestingly, actually, I was still kind of like having my little cry and also trying to continue to take my one step when he would um, move his head. Uh, and he looked up and started walking towards me, literally just as I kind of like finished finished crying, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, because I would say definitely this week I've been quite, um, maybe I've been a bit closed off as well this week in my emotions. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people that think that horses can really, really read that energy. I wonder if they can read it in our body language in ways that perhaps we can't, but definitely I would say that's how I felt this week. I've definitely had quite a flat week emotionally. It's been quite challenging. It's been one of those weeks where, you know, I'm not talking to you guys or distracted with something. I feel quite, you know, quite sort of low energy. Um, and potentially he's been feeling that as well. Um, so, and so obviously, you know, I'm kind of releasing some emotions and having some feelings, even though it's sort of, you know, I guess you could say it's concern, but it felt good. Um, and as I, just as I finished, he, he started walking towards me, which I thought was interesting timing. Um, and so I started walking backwards just to keep the distance between us the same. I didn't want him to feel like, you know, the minute that he came over that I was going to walk in towards him because ultimately I'm really trying to trust my head and not my heart. Um, and what I know is what I've been taught is that if you want, a horse or anyone or anything in any situation to want more of something you need to not give them enough of it and so if I want him to want to be close to me more I need to not give him too much of it so by allowing him to decide when he wants it that's the best way and so when he's coming towards me I'm still backing off I'm giving him that opportunity to choose that distance between us and he's speeding up and the distance between us is is uh, is shortening and so he comes up and he sort of presents me with the side of his neck and I'm still going to want him to touch nose to hand before I'll start scratching him. Um, and so I make that really easy for him. I put my hand right by his nose and then I give him a good rub on his neck, which is actually really nice. And actually his neck feels pretty good. So I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, I was really pleased for him. It did, it did feel really um, sort of like, I guess, loose compared to what it has felt like, definitely. Um, so I was really happy about that. I mean, the good thing for him, I think, is he's got these hay bells. And so I think they make quite good scratching posts for him to, like, massage his own neck. Um, so hopefully he's been doing that um, because it did feel quite good. Um, yeah, so I so I gave him that little massage. And he's, and I tried to try. I was really concentrating on, like, just not staying for too long. Um, and, he, and he blew out. He started to lick and chew. And so I stopped and I just took a couple steps. And I like I just breathed and he was licking and chewing, licking and chewing, licking and chewing. And I really, really wanted to stay. I really wanted to stay. Um, and I knew it hadn't been that long. And I also wanted to, you know, stay for a longer session. But I decided to leave. And it was so hard. Like so hard that I like actually like changed my mind halfway and like kind of did a little circle while I was deciding if I really was going to leave or not um, and then decided actually I was going to leave um, and so I left and as I was walking away I had this feeling that maybe he was going to have a sleep and that maybe I could sleep with him and that would be really cool and I would love to have done that but I also what I didn't want is to miss the timing again and for him to do his lick and chew and then go back to the grazing and then I've left it too long and I've not left when he was still curious. Like I really, really today just wanted to prove to myself that I could leave when he was curious about me. 
Um, so yeah, so I left, walked over to Mia's herd. Um, they again <laughs> freaked out when they heard me walking, um, had a little run around um, and stopped together. I came over, they were all standing together. Some of the other horses wanted to say hello. So I just nosed a hand and then walked past them um, to their tail and back around. Um, and I was basically just, I was at kind of like a slightly closer than I was to Lawrence, but not like super close to Mia, who was just kind of within this group of horses um, and just walked around keeping that distance the same. Um, like there was a little bubble um, and just stopping every time her ears would move. And her ears kind of, oh, excuse me, her ears kind of moved a few times initially she was moving her ears quite a lot and it, it did kind of feel like this fun game where she was like trying to move me with her ears which was kind of cool um and she eventually put me um kind of diagonal to her right shoulder um and yeah and just slept and I just stood with them again for probably about 10 or 15 minutes about 15 minutes and um yeah just stood with them and there wasn't any movement from anyone for ages. Um, everyone was just sleeping. Um, yeah, Mia was very uh, frozen, deep in sleep. There wasn't any eye or ear movements. Um, and then eventually um, she turned and she looked up at something. Um, and it was like a full category change. And so, again, I left there because I wanted to leave on that moment where she had changed focus and again I just really needed to feel successful today and so I wanted to just take the first moment that I that I had that I went yes that is a good moment of curiosity that I can associate myself with by leaving now I find it so hard to deprogram the fact that leaving is not a punishment I think because I'm quite um emotionally attached in that way to like other people like if I have someone that's really important to me in the same ways that I want to be important to the horses for me it's like almost like a punishment when they leave like I hate it when my partner leaves like oh I hate it I always feel miserable when he leaves um even if I'm going to do something fun or whatever like I always hate like I always hate separating from him um and I so I think I project that onto the horses where I feel like I'm punishing them for leaving because I'm projecting my own emotion onto them, um, which is not really relevant or appropriate to their situation. Um, and I, it's just really hard for me to get my head around this idea of that they want something that they don't have enough of. That's just really hard for me because I just always want to like, if I can give them something, I want to give them everything that I have, you know? Um, because I think that's the kind of person I am like and I I don't know like I've always wondered about it as like a like a product of like a sort of addictive personality type because I would say I'm like quite comfort addicted like we talk about horses that are dominance addicted and horses that need to move other horses in order to feel better in the herd um, you'll see it a lot with young horses but often you'll see it with like quite insecure horses as well that sometimes they'll put themselves in crazy positions literally to have another horse tell them off because it'll make them feel better and um and I think I'm like the opposite of that. Like I just, ah, oh, always I want comfort and I want as much comfort as I can possibly have. And in a lot of ways for me, like the more of something I have, the more of something I want. Like in a lot of, in a lot of ways for me, like with cool things and nice experiences and comfort, like ignorance is kind of bliss. Like if I have something that's nice, like I want it. Like, you know, when I start, you know, when I first went to the spa, like with my partner and I'd been to the spa once before, you know, we went to the spa like seven times in like four months because we both were just like, yes, let's do this. This is a comfortable thing. Um, and so I think I project that onto the horses and it's not necessarily a great place for a growth mindset. Um, and so it's something I'm working on. It's something I'm working on in my own life as well, um, personally. But um, yeah, so I was proud of myself today. I really hope I made the right choice to leave Lawrence when I did. Um, I think there are lots of right choices and then there's like a best choice. And it's, you can never, there's no crystal ball because time is not, the future is not written. Anything could happen. Um, I think the moment that I left on was good, whether or not I could have stayed. I don't know what would have happened next. And in the dark, I think it's difficult. I think in the light, I think I would have had a much better idea of whether or not he was going to go back to grazing or if he was going to sleep. But I may not have done um, as well. And sometimes, you know, horses are just unpredictable and that's it. Um, 
So, yeah, and oftentimes horses are still unpredictable for me. But it was, I think it was a good session. I think it was a good session. Um, yeah, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Um, I'd like to get Mia in the arena tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to come back again tomorrow and work on the distance again with Lawrence because him coming to me today was definitely a much better feeling than any of the feelings I've had from the last two days or three days of trying to play a lot with with the touching distance. And I think I need to slow that down um, because I need to protect that from what's clearly been not good enough timing on my part. So, um, yeah.